What's up guys, Umix here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Aver Media Live Gamer HD to record PC gameplay. Alright, so right here you see the Live Gamer HD is installed in a PCI-1 Express slot. Now if you don't know what that looks like, uh, I've got one down here at the bottom somewhere down in there it's it's just gonna be a one slot you should see in the diagram it shows you just pop it in that one slot on your computer then um, it'll come out the other end and you're gonna have an HDMI in and an HDMI out an audio in and an audio out on the back is what you should see now if you're not good at following those diagrams that they sh they can show you I'm gonna hear I'm gonna show you how to set that up so you can get a good visual on how, you, how to run it now in the box you're going to get some cords which are very helpful uh, they're pretty pricey too if you uh, were to buy them yourself so what I'm going to be using here is called the pass through system and that is the most effective uh, system you're not going to need any uh, visual lag on your monitor or anything with this system so what the pass through system does is your graphics card is going to be running into the Live Gamer HD and then it's going to run out into your monitor so that it's going to get the signal from your video and then it's going to go to your monitor so it's kind of like the middleman of what's going on same same goes with the audio now how to set that up so what you're, you're going to need is to have a HDMI on your video card um, let's see if I can get a good angle right here this is an HDMI on the video card. There are two on this video card. This is a 660 Ti. Uh, most modern video cards do have an HDMI on there. So if you do not, you're probably going to need to get an adapter, um, which might cost a little bit extra. But it does come with an HDMI cord in the, in the Live Gamer HD box. So take that HDMI, plug it into your video card, and then you're going to run that. Um, I believe mine right here this is the cord it runs it loops around from the video card and it runs into the live gamer HD MI in so that's gonna go to the in there'll be a little port called in on there and then after that you're gonna take this cord depending on what kind of monitor you're running with unless you unless you want to do another HDMI running to your monitor you can do that also but what I do is I put the uh, the, the HDMI to DVI adapter which is included which is very nice so plug that HDMI adapter or whatever you're going to be using to your monitor plug that into the HDMI out on the Avermedia Live Gamer HD plug that in there you're going to have the adapter then plug if you're using the DM, DVI then plug the DVI into the uh, DVI female and plug it into your monitor uh, put it in the monitor that you're going to be recording on that should be uh, helpful um, all right, so that then you're gonna after that you're gonna have your whole video set up. And now for your audio. Now this is kind of tricky for me, but uh, it works once you understand it. It does come with this audio cable right here. What this is going to be doing? This is your audio out on your motherboard. The, all these are audio out ports on your motherboard. You're gonna plug your audio out. Well the cord it comes with, plug it into that plug it into the green one I don't know what that is, that's the audio port if you have a 5.1 you can leave all those other ones in although it's only going to record in the regular stereo so plug that, the cord they give you, that 5.1 or 5.3.1 jack plug that into the, the audio out on your motherboard and then plug that into the audio in on the Live Gamer HD which is right here, this cord right here I'm pointing at. Plug that from your motherboard into the HDMI in. Then after that, you'll have the, uh, so that you'll get your audio, you're gonna wanna plug this green cord right here. I get the camera back here. It's this green cord right here. That's gonna go into your HD, your audio out on the Live Gamer. Then you're gonna plug the, the one you just plugged into your audio out, you're going to want to plug that into whatever your uh, sound source is, uh, your headphones, whatever it may be. You're going to plug that into 
Uh, well, for mine, it's a stereo, so I just that's just my stereo cord. All right. Now, if that was confusing to you, please leave a comment below, um, because I did kind of go through that kind of in a confusing way. But if you can pause the video, go back or whatever to see what it what it means. Um, after you get it, you'll understand how it works, and it should be fine. Now I'm going to go show you on the computer how to set this thing up for a recording in the RE Central and also on XSplit. So I'll see you then. Okay, so when you open up your RE Central, you're going to see um, you're going to see that you have the bulletin capture stream in video folder. Now, before you get started, you can hit this little icon up here, this little gear and you can mess with your settings um, what I like to do is I like to change where it saves my clips so you see I have it in my Z live gamer clips it's gonna be defaulted to uh, something else so if you wanna change that before you do anything you can it's a good thing to do that before also I like to have my uh, R essential startup when I start up my computer so I don't have to uh, worry about starting it up all the time there's a bunch of other little settings that you can uh, mess with and that's just something that I like to do before I mess with anything else. So now, let's get into capturing. So if you're going to want to capture, you can um, use Amateur, um, Newbie, or Pro. Um, these, I don't like why they do this. Uh, it's mostly so that it'll be simpler for people who aren't into uh, all the settings, but just go into pro because you're gonna want to get the most out of this card anyway just click on pro and you will see uh, all these settings in here and give you a great variety of settings to mess with so you right away you can uh, start with game platform if you're, you're obviously using this for PC uh, if you're watching this video so just keep it on current PC if you're gonna change it uh, put game console or whatever you're gonna be recording for video source um, leave it at HDMI DVI would be um, I haven't really tried it but it'd probably be the same since the, the DVI cords going into the HDMI but leave it at the default whatever it is because it can detect it uh, pretty well now for audio um, you're gonna want to put this on audio in uh, it's probably gonna be on HDMI but unless your video card can do the audio then you're gonna need to put it on audio in to get the audio uh, mine was on HDMI to begin with so I had to change that so make sure you change it to audio in and for uh, for recording any other if you're gonna be using a microphone or an external audio uh, you can record external so basically what it's gonna do if you record it's gonna make another file an mp3 file and it's gonna make that um, for your commentary this is very helpful and I'm glad they imported this system uh, very helpful for people who like to make commentaries or don't want their their commentary mixed in with the audio so you can uh, boost the decibels or anything you need to do so I put on my record external audio it's really up to you and you can save a separate separate m p3 file and all that good stuff change your microphone and start with video capture push to talk great features on here um, personal preference for audio basically now video source this is a important one um, the only one is going to be the h264 uh, I like mp4 so uh, it's up to you leave it on what you want and for resolution um, simple what resolution you want to record at um, I use 1080p obviously because it's the best quality and it's not really going to affect anything else um, since it is a capture card it's going to not affect your computer speed or anything so for bit video bitrate mine is at 1500 um, I have not tried anything higher I honestly can't tell really anything higher than 1500 or no, not, it's not 1500, it's 15500, but whatever. Uh, just leave it on whatever you want. You can, this is something that you can mess with. See what settings you like. You can put it on the highest one if you just want to have the best quality. The video bitrate's basically the um, 
bit rate it's encoding it at like the speed so it's gonna be what the quality is gonna look like and for the audio I put mine on, mine on 192 because that is a good audio to run at uh, it's, it's pretty similar to 256 you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between those either for frames I put mine on 30 since that's as high as it goes for 1080p on this card and adherence and I just leave it there hotkeys um, this is personal preference also uh, just put hotkeys on whatever you want I like to use a hot button um, that little button that came in the box that red one really helpful uh, for when you're recording on the go so just fairly basically put whatever you want in then you uh, can save that profile you can make different profiles on here and just save it and um, that was just gonna go to record but when you're ready to record you just hit ready and it'll minimize and then you can hit the button or the hotkeys now for streaming um, I don't like to use this program for streaming but for the sake of anyone else who wants to I'll just go through it uh, you're gonna need to connect your twitch TV or any other whatever account you're using there'll be a connect button here mine's already connected just go into pro it's pretty similar to the recording one just uh, make sure you have the I don't use this so I didn't change it but make sure you have the audio in and everything that you're gonna be you had before just another a different thing would be the streaming it when you do stream this is actually going to affect like if you're streaming 1080p I doubt you can unless you have a really good computer so and a good upload speed you definitely need a good upload speed for 1080p um, so yeah this streamed stabilizer they have that I just leave mine unstable but I don't use this to stream I'm gonna be going to the XSplit one after this so yeah that's basically the how to set it up you can hit video folder see your clips in here and very nice program I like it and does not use up your CPU so that's how to set it up guys um, I'll see you on the XSplit one okay now with XSplit uh, if you're gonna want to use your Avermedia Live Gamer HD with XSplit you will want to do a few things before you record now say you just got in and you are have your XSplit open first thing this is a uh, kind of tricky you c you have the choice um, I'll explain it in a little bit so if you're gonna you can add a camera and you can add Avermedia HD capture C95 bus uh, mine 7 it, it'll be whatever your slots put in it might be 5 2 or it could be anyone but it'll have bus and you'll see it right away if it's connected right you can add that camera and then you can just drag it over it'll be like any other camera now what that is is it's going to take a little bit of the load off of your CPU but it's not going to be as much as if it was encoding it for you because with live streaming the the reason why it slows your computer down is you're encoding it right away right there and that the the live gamer can do that which is very cool but it's not as good as your processor now that's why I say you have the choice you could add this as a camera and it'll look just fine because your computer, your CPU is going to be encoding this video or whatever's going on here and it's going to look good and it won't be as severe as if you were doing it um, if, as if you were encoding without the the Avermedia so the other option is to <coughs> add a screen region so if you added the screen region or game or whatever you're going to be recording with just as if you were recording without the live gamer HD add your screen region and then actually I could do that right now so yeah say you're adding your screen region there's your screen region right there a little bit of inception going on here anyway you go to your broadcast and you edit you you, you edit um, you're going to edit your video encoding and the, this is the new X but it's kind of weird um, but the important part right here is going to be the 
uh, or is it oh a codec right here not not gear it's going to be right here in the codec your processor encoding is going to be your x264 and that would be if you were using the live gamer hd as a camera source you would put it on here but if you're using a screen region and you want to use that your the encoding you can select h.264 um like the avermedia h.264 you click that and I'm not going to click it because it will reset everything I have here but it's just going to there's not going to be a quality that's not going to be a preset and I think yeah there's going to be a VBV buffer I'm pretty sure um, actually no there's going to be a bitrate though for your upload so it's just going to do its uh, own encoding for you and that's really what's going to take the load off your game you're not going to see that frame rate drop that you normally see when you're streaming and that's what they mean by it being a good streaming card. Although the encoding, you'll notice that your processor can put up much better quality than than this um, capture card. But you're going to get a drop in frame rate. So it's really up to you. I usually change it around when I'm going to different games, depending on what games are more CPU intensive and what whatnot. So that's how you set it up. Also, another thing to keep in mind before you do anything, which is actually very important actually um, when you're going to your add your camera um, let's see yeah see my I'm, re I'm using it to record right now so that's uh, I thought it was self recording but well if you have your Aver media say this is your camera you're gonna right click on that and go into configure now before you go into configure uh, uncheck this box that says allow exploit to audio configure because you're going to want to go into your video output this is important if you want to record an a frame rate or a output size that um, matches your exploit size so say you're streaming in um, say when you went to view and you changed your um, resolution size say you change that to 720 the default in the on this card is going to be 1080p so you're going to have to change that to 720p to get the exact ratio or else it may affect uh, some quality I had it on there for a while and it was wondering why it was kind of laggy a little bit you can change the frame rate to 30 you just want it to match your exploit settings to your capture card settings although and the thing to note here is if you are if you have this unchecked it will not if you have the allow exploit to audio configure unchecked it will not detect DX11 games so if you're wondering why it's not detecting some games um, then you're gonna need to check that again I have it there because I was playing some DX11 games so this is a thing to note so I hope that um, explains some things that you had if you have any more questions um, this may have been may have bit a bit confusing so drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as fast as possible as fast as I see it and I'll try to answer it thanks for watching guys uh, see ya